everyone welcome to sports hub thank you so much for joining us and happy easter monday hope you enjoyed the long weekend i did enjoy my weekend well today i'm hosting two sisters who are into swimming and equestrian well it would be interesting to hear their stories on how they balance up uh, between the two sports disciplines as well as school so make sure you stay with us because they are right here in the building feel free to participate on the program by calling 0211 25 30 25 or 0211 or you can also send us a whatsapp message on 0955 20 2904 0955 20 2904 if you are into social media then send us your comments and contributions on uh, um, sports hub facebook page or modern scene color sports will be so happy to hear from you on how much you know your sports men and women segment well i had no response last week well does it mean <laughs> people don't know eston mulenga so the sportsman we showed last week is eston mulenga that's the man there so eston mulenga was born on august 7 1967 Nicknamed Yellow Man, Mlenga played club football for Nkana Football Club. He made several appearances for Zambia national football team and participated in the 1990 and 1992 Africa Cup of Nations finals. He also played for Zambia at the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, South Korea. I'm sure you remember that defeat when Zambia beat Italy by four goals to nil. So memorable up to now. Kalusha Wadia scored a hat-trick and Johnson Wadia scored the other goal to make it 4-0. He unfortunately died in a plane crash off the coast of Gabon on April 28, 1993. Along with the entire national football team, may his soul continue resting in peace. So like I said, like, like I've always been saying, I'm giving you a leakage, the players who've been showcasing in the past, and that will be showcasing up to April 28, are those that were involved in the plane crash in 1998. So, Eston Mlenga was one of them. But how about this one? Can you manage to identify him? That man in the picture. Who was he? If you know him, well, call us on 0211-253025 or 0211-2508. 43 you can also send us a whatsapp message on 0955 20 4 on facebook is modern sync color sports or sports hub who is that man on your screen let's see how much you know your sportsmen and women are you a genius in sports so give us that feedback we'll be waiting to hear from you right let's look at what happened over the weekend we start with uh, the Kanas on Four Swimming Championship, which Zambia hosted. And uh, this was hosted at OYDC Zambia Sports Development Center. So a first position was Zimbabwe, followed by Mozambique, and third was Zambia. So Zambia ripped a bronze overall. But so among the guests that I'll be hosting are from this championship. They won some medals. Interesting uh, guests that I have this evening. Then in the Zambia Volleyball Association Zavia, Zava Open Championship, uh, which was held also at OIDC Zambia Sports Development Center, Green Buffaloes beat Unza 3-0 in the men's final, while Prison Leopards beating Kwasi 3-0 in the women's final. That's uh, the sport of volleyball. In the sport of netball in the Midlands, Netball Association Mina League with two results. Saturday, it was um, uh, Prison Leopards who were the hosts. It was held in Kawe. Uh, so it was Prison Leopards 39, Nkwazi 38, Red Arrows 40, Mazabuka United uh, nil. So this was the walkover. Uh, Lusaka City Council 30, Green Buffaloes 50, Green Eagles 60, Unza 11. Then Sport in Action 36, Napsa 58. That's in the women's category. In the men's category, it was Nkwazi 60 and Unza 16. Interesting results in the world of netball. Let's now go to football. In the India 2022 FIFA Women's Under-17 World Cup qualifiers, Zambia hosted Cameroon at Nkoloma Stadium in Osaka. And Zambia lost by two goals to nil. 
well, it was a painful result. In case you didn't watch that game which we showed right on this channel, TV3, let's just see the highlights. Born for the lenses of the national broadcaster, born to gather attention of the entire continent, the entire world. Born to represent the theme of their respective national anthems. Kaira gets it underway here. Two and three being sought after by Zambia and Cameroon. In the first, Nadi lingers. Both teams and of global football in terms of uh, under 17 women's uh, football. The likes of uh, Spain who have won the title once. Only two nations, we must emphasize, have won the under 17 World Cup before. A moment! Glorious goal! Just glorious! She was knocking in the first half. Shot some class in the first half. But she said, wait a minute. Cross was from the captain, Tokon Joya Ashta, straight into the feet of Lamine of FAP Football Club of Yaonde. And she does put Cameroon in the lead. Zambia trailing this afternoon after trying to withhold pressure this afternoon. Quite an assist from the captain and quite the goal it has been from the number seven, Lamine Mana. But his uh, team is down here. Keeping his fingers crossed, perhaps toes too that the passes could uh, regain their mojo and begin to challenge for qualification, especially if they restore parity here. Zambia needing something next to genius for them to be able to get back in this game because Cameroon came to Zambia and turned up. Kaliwa is worried. This could be two. More damage to the home side. The captain of the side. Always wanting some special space. Look at that. Was left and marked there. Daha Kamile Vet. Chiteta couldn't account for herself, left in a hopeless situation and Cameroon have punished Zambia yet again. They have taken the lead in Zambia trail by two goals to nil this afternoon. Daha Kamila Ivet does join Lamine Mana on the score sheet for the visitors here. Well, the unfortunate result there, Zambia losing by two goals to nil. Maybe we need some crossbreeding here, West Africa and, North and uh, Southern Africa, because uh, naturally, as Zambians, uh, the height, we are of medium height, so maybe we need some crossbreeding so that we can balance up in terms of height. So Zambia has a tall order. They are playing the reverse fixture on 30th April. So Zambia has to, to score three unanswered goals for them to go through to the next round, which will be the fourth round. All right, so all the best to the young Copper Queens. Let's go to the MTN Fars Super League with 31 results. On Saturday, it was in Kwasi New, Chambishi 1, Kafir Celtic New, Red Arrows 1, Green Eagles 2, Concola Blades New, and then Prison Leopards 2, Green Buffaloes New, Lusaka Dynamos 2, Indeni New. Sunday, it was Zanako 2, Kawe Warriors 2, Forest Rangers 1, and Butcon, uh, Forest Rangers 1, Nkana 1, Butcon New, Kansanshi Dynamos 1, Power Dynamos New, Zesco United New. So those were the results. Let's look at how they're standing on the table with only three games to go in the MTN Super League. So Red Arrow is still on top and uh, they have 63 points now. They've opened up uh, is, is, this is um, how many points? About seven points. Yeah, seven point lead. Well, so Red Arrows have 63 points from 31 games. Zesco United are in uh, uh, second position with 56 points from 31 games. Green Eagles, they are, they are 55 points from 31 games. And Inkana, still in top four. And they have uh, 46 points from uh, 31 games. So that's what is happening also in relegation battle. It's, it's, um, it's on as well. So let's see the way they are playing this uh, Wednesday 
this, it will be week 32 actually. So it will be in Denny up against in Kwazi 13 hours. 15 hours it will be Green Eagles versus Kafue Celtic. Then Kawe Warriors will be up against Red Arrows. Konkola Blades versus Prison Leopards. Chambishi versus Zanako. Green Buffaloes versus Forest Rangers. Nkana versus Butecon. Zesco United versus Lusaka Dynamos. Kansanshi Dynamos versus Power Dynamos. So these are the results. Even as you are calling, uh, trying to give me that, that answer, um, well, I'll be waiting for that answer. Uh, yes, make sure you flood uh, that phone so that I can get your response, your feedback. Uh, the number you are calling is uh, crawling on the screen. Then in the first Eden University National Division 1 League, Week 32 results. Saturday it was Napsa Stars nil. Young Green Eagles nil. With this result, Napsa Stars delayed their promotion to the Super League. And then Sunday it was City of Lusaka 2, Muflira Wanderers 3. Very interesting game it was. We showed it on this channel, TV3. Clement Shimonde, Lasmon Piri scoring for City of Lusaka. And Owen Mwamba, Manix Nengelo and Joseph Mumbi scoring for Muflira Wanderers. As uh, the race hits up. For promotion then fc musa 2 livingston pirates 1 musa have already been confirmed as a promoted team gomes 1 police college 3 and kito united 2 lumwana radiance 1 kaisa 1 trident new as uh, goal scored by ayu banda lopla green eagles 2 quattro kalumbila new uh, goal scored by michael Mubemba in the 46th minute and Paul Malama in the 64th minute young green buffaloes 1 changa rangers 3 then uh, Zesco Malaiti Rangers 1, Jumulo 1. Very interesting results. Let's see how they are standing on the table. Lumwana Radiance are still on top, but they've been caught up by FC Musa because now they are at pass. 63 points apiece. So Lumwana Radiance, 32 games, 63 points, followed by FC Musa, who've played 32 games and they have 63 points. Napsa Stars, they are still hanging on in third position, 32 games, 57 points. Changa Rangers also in fourth position, uh, 32 games, 53 points. So that's the top four there. Muflira Wanderers want to catch up. Uh, only a point difference there. Then at the bottom there, are Kaisa in relegation zone, Police College in relegation zone, Livingston Paris in relegation zone, as well as Quattro Kalumbila in relegation zone. So this weekend it will be very hot because Nchanga Rangers will be hosting Musa and Muflira Wanderers will be hosting Quito United. It's getting hotter and hotter in the first Eden West National Division 1 League. Finally, in terms of results, let's look at the English Premier League. On Saturday, it was Tottenham Hotspur nil, Brighton and Hove Albion 1. Enoch Mwepu's team has continued to dominate, um, beating big teams. Manchester United 3, Norwich City 2, Southampton 1, Arsenal nil. Arsenal losing three games in a row. Watford 1, Brentford 2. Then on Sunday, it was Newcastle United 2, Leicester City 1, West Ham United 1, Burnley 1. So there are games that will be played tomorrow. Aston Villa uh, versus Liverpool at 21 hours. On Wednesday, it will be Leeds United versus Chelsea at 22. 2030, then at 2045 on Thursday to be Everton versus Crystal Palace. And how they are standing on the table is Manchester City, 31 games, 74 points, still on top. Liverpool, second, 31 games, 73 points. Chelsea, third position, 31 games, 62 points. Then Tottenham Hotspur, 32 games, 57 points. So that's how it is in the EPL also getting hotter and hotter all right so time for me now to introduce the guests in the studio and well it's interesting like i said earlier on i'm hosting the sisters and i uh, have tamenji miti who is 14 years of age already at 14 she started dripping medals you are welcome tamenji and uh, she is accompanied by her sister 11 years of age, Siwongile Miti. Welcome to Sports Hub, ladies. Thank you. Thank wow, you wow. can see the medals rattling there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, at a tender age, uh, already reaping medals. And um, this is only from the Canas on Four Swimming Championship, no so? Yes. And those as well. Yes. And the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Okay, so before I ask you anything, um, Let's just see a story that was compiled by Chansa Kunda.
The final showdown looming in the waters for the swimmers. With all eyes fixed on medals, the swimmers turned up to what was a fierce water contest spanning over four days. And in the end, Zimbabwe finished first and successfully defended their title. Um, we just kept inspiring each other, motivating each other. And I think that helped us to keep fighting. Mozambique turned out to be this year's surprise package and finished in second position. Braving their local water and atmosphere, hosts Team Zambia finished in third position to an exceptional performance as they minted 77 medals, making them the highest ranked on the medal count. So we've improved um, from third position to third position, which is very encouraging for us. I think it's important at this stage that uh, we congratulate Zimbabwe, they are the defending champions, um, they brought an excellent team. They've been working really hard. With 39 gold, 18 silver and 20 bronze, the Zambian contingent look back at how the 18th edition of the Kana Zone 4 Championship has panned out. Our team honestly achieved that and as captain I would say I've never been more proud to be on a, on a team like this. Work hard and put in that work for the next time because we're coming for one, we're coming for the top spot. Kana is, um, it is really competitive. So to see him medal, it shows just how much he, how much effort he puts in every day to make sure that he achieves his goal at the end of the day. Okay. Um, the team was the team was cheering for me. I was cheering for them. We all cheered together. It gave everyone hype. It made everyone feel good and great. Um, everything that has happened has happened for a reason, I believe. And um, I'm very happy with the type of competition that I've gotten from amazing, amazing athletes. It's, it's been amazing. Happy for what I've done. Um, I'm going to keep training hard and next time I'll do better. Having donned national colors for the first time, swimmer Mulenga Ko made history by becoming the first Zambian to mint 14 medals, making him the best and most outstanding athlete. It makes me happy that I got a chance like this. Um, I think everyone once again. Uh, and I think it's going to leave, leave a stain in the swimming association. South Africa who host the 2023 Kana Zone 4 Championship. Chan Sakunda, ZNBC Sport, Lusaka. Right, so that's what happened at the 90-day Legacy Swimming Pool, which is located at the OIDC Zambia Sports Development Center, right here in Lusaka, and Zambia was hosting that championship. So I have two swimmers who were at that event, and they did quite well. Let me start with you, Tamenji. How can you describe the championship and how you performed? Um, I thought the championship was amazing. It was so amazing to go back and compete after not competing um, since 2020 due to COVID. So um, the standard of swimming rises every day. So it's really nice to go out and compete. And it was even more amazing because we were the host and this is the pool that we know and we train in. So it was absolutely amazing. Great. So what did you win at this championship? Um, I won um, four bronze and three silver. So I won three individual events, uh, three medals for my three individual events, which were the 50 fly, where I got a silver. Okay, I'll get back to yeah. you just now. Let me attend to a caller. Hello, good evening and welcome to Sports Hub. Hello, good evening. All right, your name and where you're calling us from? My name is Prudence from Kitwe. Prudence from Kitwe, interesting. Do you want to attempt to answer that question we are posing? Yes. Okay. Who is that player? The late Samo Chomba. Are you sure? Yes, very sure. Okay, well, um, okay, if you are sure, tell us some of the things you remember about him. Uh, Mm. He, yes, go ahead. Um, he used to play for Cowboy uh -huh. as, as a what? As a defender? 
Okay, unfortunately we can't. Okay, keep calling, keep calling. Uh, try your guess. Um, so the caller from Kitwe said, Samwa Chomba, what's your guess? Tell us what you, what you think about that player. Okay, so Tamenji, you are telling us about uh, the medals you won at the championship. Oh, yes. Um, so I managed to get medals in uh, all the events in my main stroke, which is butterfly. So I managed to get a silver in the 50 meters butterfly, a bronze in the 100 meters butterfly, and another silver in the 200 meters butterfly. Right. This time, no gold medal. What happened? The competition was really tight, this um, particular competition. And um, I actually missed the 50 fly just by, it was less than a second, so it was really tight. And I mean, I really enjoyed the competition because it gave me a challenge and it definitely showed me what I need to work on for the next one. <laughs> okay, all right. Do we have another caller? Okay. All right, all right. Keep calling. Let me go to Sibongire. Okay, so we have a caller. Your name and where you're calling us from? Uh, Maveti Alfred. Maveti? Maveti Alfred. Maveti Alfred, where are you calling us from? I'm calling you from Lusaka, within Lusaka. Oh, within Lusaka, okay. Do you want to attempt? Yes, I want to attempt. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's see. Who is that uh, player? It's Ka Kapambu Mulenga. Kapambu Mulenga, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> are you sure? Very sure, sir. <laughs> okay, what do you what do you remember about Kapamba Muleng? Yeah, he, a gentile, just a nickname. A nickname they used to call him gentile. Then he used to pray at Inkana. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. He used to be a defender. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Maveti from uh, Lusaka. We'll see. I'll reveal the answer at the end of the day. So uh, keep calling and keep uh, trying. All right. Um, all right. Thank you very much for coming through. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. All right. All right. Great. Sibongide, uh, how can you describe the championship? It was definitely very fierce, but I'm very proud of my results. Um, I worked hard for these results, so I'm very, um, like, I reached my goals, so I'm pretty happy with what I did. Right. Uh, tell us what you won. I won five gold, four bronze, and one silver. Wow. Did you say five gold? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well done. Well done. Thank so, you. um, well, there was South Africa, there was Zimbabwe, and for you to manage to win gold, how was it for you? It was definitely very fierce, but um, I'd like to thank my coaches and my parents for the opportunities they gave us. Um, um, my coaches really pushed me to work for my goals, and I'm, I really appreciate it. Right. Um, so, w w um, what, that trophy, tell us, what is it about? What, what did you win? Um, I was first overall um, from the 12 and unders. So I got this trophy. First over of uh, among the Zambian swimmers, or yeah, of twelve and under. Ah, okay. Impressive, impressive. Then those are the gold medals that are hanging around you and uh, yes. silver. Yes. Wow. Okay. So first, let's understand where you you are coming from. Uh, let me start with you, Tamenji. Um, tell us, give us a brief background of yourself where you were born from, uh, when you were born, and, and how your upbringing was like? Um, so I was born, I was actually born in the UK, um, and I'm half Zambian and half Turkish. Um, I, I lived in Zambia all my life, so this is my home. <laughs> and, okay. um, well, I've just got one sister, which is Sibo, and um, it's been... I don't know, it's been absolutely amazing. I've got such supportive parents and my sister, obviously. Um, she really supports me and we push each other to do the best that we can. I mean, I'm always at the side shouting for her when she's swimming and when she's not swimming and I'm swimming, she's shouting for me. So, okay. I mean, I've got a really supportive <laughs> background, yeah. Nice, and those are the two sisters there. You look like twins, are you twins really? <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone thinks we're twins, but we're not. You really look alike, I can't tell. Okay, so on the left, that's Sibongile, right? Yes. Samenji on the right. Yes. And you have the same hairstyle, the same forehead. Yes, yes. <laughs> How different are you? How can one tell, uh, like, the one from the other? 
I mean, I guess it's our characters. Maybe um, it's when someone gets to know us more personally, they could tell us apart. But normally in the beginning, everyone just thinks we're twins. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So you, you've told us you have supportive parents. Are you able to, to tell us the, the names of your parents? Yes, of course. My mom's name is Sevim Miti, and my dad is Abraham Rabi Miti. Great, great, great. Now your parents have been doing a great job. Siwangile, tell us also your background. I was born in Turkey, um, but I, was, I lived in Zambia all my life. Um, I definitely have a supportive family. Um, they support me through everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you look like you soon you at outgrow Tamenji. Oh, Where yes. are you running? Oh, off yes. To? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, now give us your sports background. How did you get into sports? Let me start with you, Sivangir. I, um, I started swimming actually when I was four, but I started competing when I was seven. I just started to like, like the sport and um, I got really serious with it. And now I think we'll just see where it goes. I might even go to the Olympics. Great, great. Um, who inspired you to go into swimming? Um, I just, I don't really have anyone who inspired me. I just like, really like the sport and anything like the background and the people and there, yeah. Okay, right. Um, you, Tamenji, how did you get into sports? Um, well, I've always had a love for sports, but swimming was quite, it was quite um, shocking actually because, well, the moment I sort of jumped into the water was when I was like, wow, I really want to do this. And in the beginning, I didn't really know where, what I wanted from the sport. And as I just went further, it's like my love for the sport grew even more. And like, especially with the coaches that I have that are extremely supportive. And I mean, they help me through everything with the sport. And I'm so grateful for them because I wouldn't be anywhere um, where I am today without them. Okay. I know you also do equestrian. Uh, what did you start with? Uh, swimming or equestrian? Swimming. <laughs> Started with swimming? Yes. <laughs> okay. And then you got inspired to go into equestrian. How did that happen? Um, well, that happened because um, I love the animal, like starting. I love horses so much. And the sport is just such an interesting sport. It's nice to um, have a bond with another, like with an animal that doesn't even speak your language. And it's just so nice to be able to just create that. Okay. Swangile, you also do equestrian. How did yes. you get, did you follow what Tamenji did or what happened? I also just like loved horses and I thought like if they were very like, I loved horses, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what have you achieved in equestrian, Swangile? I, um, I, I do competitions as well. Um, I do show jumping and some cross country. Um, I, have, I, I don't really go out to do horse riding because I have been really focused about swimming and Kana. So I think I have to get back at it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about you, um, Tamenji? How has it been for you in Equestrian? Um, it's been amazing. I have a really great coach um, who helps me a lot with my horse. And um, obviously it's been um, a thing where I've had to balance swimming with horse riding, mm -hmm. but swimming is definitely my main, but horse riding is something that I also love to focus on. <laughs> okay, talking about your coach, that's Rachel, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, and you're both under the same coach? Yes. yes. Okay, yes, yeah, so um, you talked about it. I was about to come to that question, um, Sibongide, uh, no, uh, Tamenji. How do you balance up equestrian and swimming? I mean, it's definitely hard, but it's worth it. Um, I can say that, I mean, it's all about time management and knowing, obviously, the schedule. And sometimes swimming and horse riding does clash. And there is times where I have to prioritize swimming. But obviously, um, I love both of them, so I try to balance it all the time. Oh, uh, well, uh, is there such a thing that you love both of them? Obviously, there is one you prioritize. Which one do you prioritize? Well, I'd have to say <laughs> swimming in this case. Swimming, yes. right? Okay. What about you, Sio? Yeah, I would say swimming as well. Swimming? Yes. Okay. Do you think um, you would achieve more in swimming as opposed to equestrian? I mean, yes, because we've done it for longer. That's what I can say. And also because we've started it when we were really young and we sort of know more about it. Okay. All right. What about you? Swimming as well. 
<laughs> okay, so if you are to count Tamenji, how many medals do you have at home? And coupled with these ones, how many medals do you have altogether? I actually haven't updated my count yet, but I should think over 40 of them right now. But definitely over 40? Yeah. <laughs> at the age of 14? Yes. Okay, what about you, Sivongire? I haven't counted either, but I'm not... Um, I'm not sure, <laughs> actually. Maybe around 30 or something like that. Okay. All right. So, step by step, um, run us through some of the major competitions that you've participated in Tamenji and how you fared. Well, the first ever international competition I went to was in Kenya. And um, that was actually, ooh, that was interesting. Because I remember <laughs> that, that championship yeah. and you were actually 11. Mm-hmm. 11 yes. and uh, actually before you went you came to this studio and uh, yes indeed you did an interview right yes. okay go ahead mm. well that was actually a really um interesting competition i would say i really enjoyed it because it was my first one and I was, I was really excited i was trying to see what people in other countries were doing and how they were swimming and i did really well in that one like i remember coming back home with about 10 medals i believe i think it was five gold three silver and two bronze that was my first one. At the first, the first ever international <laughs> yes. swimming championship. Yes. And that was your first major event. Yes. Ooh, what gave you the motivation? And you are not scared, like, um, having that phobia because they are you know, different countries and, and so forth, and you are doing it for the first time? Well, I wasn't really scared because I knew what I was doing and I knew what I, what I went there for. And I was prepared mentally and physically. So there was nothing I really feared. I was just excited for the competition and to see the new challenges that um, came towards me. Wow. Well, would you remember your teammates, the ones you went with there? I remember that there was 12 of us. It was a small team of 12. But I remember we brought home about, I think it was 79 medals, but it was 12 of us, so it was actually amazing. <laughs> Great. Where was Sibo by then? Oh, Sibo wasn't old enough to qualify for the uh, championships. Okay. Because yeah. if you were 11, that means she was... She was about 9. 9 or 8. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Kenya won first competition. Which yes. one was your next? So my second one was Botswana. That was in February 2020. Mm. Um, that was definitely harder because the first one was zone three um, and the second one was zone four. Zone four is normally um, harder and there's definitely more fierce competition. And I was actually quite nervous to go into that one, but um, it, was, it was amazing. I came back with two gold and two silver. Wow. So God was just like... Um it was like a birthright getting good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was the Botswana Championship. And um, if you compare the two, the Kenya one and the Botswana one, which one do you think you fared quite well or better than that? I think it was definitely because I can't really compare them because of the levels of swimming okay. that mm -hmm. they were. But I would have definitely said that I performed well in all of them because um, I, I mean, above all, I did PBs in all of my races in both of the events. Okay. All right. And after the Botswana event? And it's back to Zambia, so this is just the one that the, I did now. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess for Siwa, this was your first championship. Yeah. Yes. So you're just um, like following your sister's footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> she started with gold medals, five gold medals. You've also started with five gold medals. Yes. All right. So uh, tell us what you are specialized in. I know there are different um, events in swimming. Tell us what you are specialized in, Suwangi. I think it's the fly and the breaststroke. Um, those are my mains. Um, I, um, I really push those ones. And I managed to get a gold in the 50 fly and 100 fly. Mm, and in the, in the 100 breaststroke, I got bronze. And in the 50 breaststroke, I also got gold. OK. All right. So um, uh, is it the coach who helped you choose the event you, you should swim in? Or maybe you thought you, you're just good at a certain particular event? Um, it was both of our decisions. Um, I personally wanted to focus on my fly and breaststroke. And so I picked all the breaststrokes and two of the fly, which includes 50 breaststroke, 100 breaststroke, 200 breaststroke, and 50 fly and 100 fly, um, yeah. Okay, so you also do 100 meters. That means you have the endurance to, <laughs> to go fast. And uh, a swimming pool like OIDC swimming pool, you have to go, is it twice to make 100, 100 right? Yes. 
Okay. What about you, Tamenji? What are you specialized in? Um, I'm mainly a butterfly swimmer. Um, it's just been the stroke that I've loved the most that has caught my interest. So yeah, that's that's the stroke that I love the most. Okay. So no one does no one does backstroke. I saw that one. I can see Tamenji Miti. What event was that? You came out first. I believe that was the 50 butterfly. Okay, uh, that's uh, no 2020 swimming championships, yes. Botswana. Yes. Okay, that was 50, right? Yes. 50 butterfly, and you came out first beating Zimbabwe. I can see you beat Zimbabweans, uh, Kenyans, Mauritius. Wow, my seashells and all that, Mozambique. That was an amazing one. Um, well, at least you raised the flag high, the Zambian flag high. Okay, yeah, no one does backstroke. Um, no, I do backstroke. It's just not my main my main stroke. Mm. I compete in all of the strokes, but it's just mainly butterfly. Okay, all right. And um, what's the, the the biggest thing that you want to achieve in? Uh, oh, let me say swimming and equestrian. Let me start with you, Tamish. Well, um, in swimming, what I'm trying to do at the moment is obviously compete more internationally and obviously get fitter and get more training. And I mean, if it's, if it's, if it's there, then obviously the Olympics is what we're looking at. Okay, Olympics. Um, so you are 14 now. Um, when are you eligible to compete at the Olympics? Um, it should be 16 years of age. 16 years of age, so two years from now. And the next Olympics should be in 2026. To be 2026. Thanks. So. Yeah, somewhere there. Sibongile, what's the biggest thing you want to achieve? Um, I want to get better and stronger in my strokes, and definitely get PBs and uh, maybe even the, the Olympics. Okay, when you get to the Olympics, <laughs> um, what we've seen, like Zambia, has not won any gold medal at the Olympics. Would you be the first one to win a gold medal, Tamenji? <laughs> um, I would think to look at going into maybe a semi-final first because that would be amazing. It would be something that would be put down in history um, just to make a semi-final in an event for swimming. And um, obviously, if, if it's in the cards to medal, then I would definitely go for it. But I would definitely um, see where swimming takes me and from there make my decision. Okay. Um, so... Uh, I would say Zambia has struggled to to go to greater heights in swimming, especially at bigger stages like the Olympics. Um, what do you think are challenges that are in swimming, Tamenji? Well, I mean, the level of swimming is really different in different countries. And um, obviously, some countries do have a higher level of like training and all that and facilities and all that stuff. But I mean, Zambia's um, swimming is improving. I mean, our pools qualities are amazing. Our coaches are um, amazing. And I mean, really, in the years that are uh, coming, I believe that even Zambia will reach those levels in swimming. Are uh, you sure? Yes. All right. Um, what of you, Siwongiri? Um, since you joined swimming, have you faced any challenges or things that you want uh, improved for you to be successful? Um, I think um, I have to train harder. Um, and uh, maybe next time I'll even get 10 gold medals if it's possible. At Kana's on four swimming championships. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That's interesting. Um, uh, we need to get more phone calls regarding the question that we asked you. If we can see the photo once again, um, at least we've had two tries, one from Kitwe, another one from Lusaka. One from Kitwe said Samuel Chomba, and another one in Lusaka said, um, said Kapambwe Mulenga. So give us more calls, give, us a, uh, give, give it a try. Uh, who are you going for? Which player is that? So uh, we'll be waiting to hear from you. All right. Um, Tamenji, apart from swimming and equestrian, have you ever tried any other sports discipline? Yes, I do many sports, especially in school. I do hockey mainly at school, and I do athletics and volleyball as well. Yes. Oh, okay. Which school are you at? Um, the Italian School of Lusaka. What grade? I'm in ninth grade. Ninth grade. Okay. So those three you've mentioned, how is your performance? Um, I do really well, um, especially in hockey, because that one is my favorite, I'd have to say. Um, but I do really well in those sports. Um, 
I normally do like all rounders, so I always do different types of sports. Okay. What about you, Tibongi? I do um, netball and a bit of hockey and even a bit of soccer. Um, I'd say netball is my favorite. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Do you know that Netpo Zambia is looking for players uh, like you? So maybe you might be just one of the players. <laughs> okay. So um, let's go back to Equestrian. How many horses do you have? Oh, I've only got one horse at the moment. Okay. What's the name of that horse? Uh, Chili Rose. Okay. Is, what is it specialized in? Is it uh, dressage, um, show jumping? Um, she's a show jumper. Okay, you've never tried dressage with... I have done a bit of dressage, but I m mainly do show jumping. Okay. Sibo, how many horses do you have? I have also one. One. What's the name? Taylor. Okay. How has the horse been performing? Um, we do show jumping and sometimes a bit of cross country. Uh, yeah, I do. I, mo I most specialize at uh, um, show jumping. Okay. So there's also, um, what do you call that? There's a performance you are doing at Lazy J. What do you call? Voting. Voting. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Is your horse good at voting? Well, actually, what we do is um, there's a different horse for voting. So um, there's one that we have, a, is, which is a stallion mm -hmm. um, at our stable. So we do voting on him. Okay. All right. Um, so you are specialized at show jumping. You also show jumping. Um, do you feel you have what it takes to go for the Olympics? I mean, with practice and obviously with competing more, definitely, I think that um, anything is possible. Okay. So we had um, the uh, horse riders who went to Algeria. Um, you didn't qualify for that one? What happened? Oh, um, this um, time... Well, it was it was actually another time where swimming and horse riding were clashing. So it was really hard to compete to be able to qualify because obviously we need the points to qualify for Algeria. So we didn't compete enough and um, enough to qualify for the for the event. All right. Okay. So for now, we'll take a musical break, and when we come back, uh, Julius Malulu will be giving us what is trending on social media in terms of sports. Silver. More power. The Shaka Big Fist. Kalandanya News Promotion. More power. Ok, 
la cuela, si yo sé si yo sé la iguela andaba en quedera, me chipanda chali, si va a valir si sin te va a bajo el chocolate con capu y la me lo va a pusar la madre, no va a ni va a ver, y chiste muy cochavo, a ver, chapu y si va a ver, le va a ver, limo no va a cambiar, la le va a ver y bola, la va a usar chila, hasta si me acula, ya que está en el po. Okay, that's Chester and he says Chimonawa Zambia. So that's what happens. They may lose like the under 17 did, but when they play on the 30th, we'll still support them. Okay, see what did I ask you what grade you are doing and what school? Oh yeah, I'm in the Italian school of Lusaka and I'm doing 6th grade. 6th sixth grade, so the difference, 3 grades between the two of you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, alright. So now I cross over to Julius Malulu who give us what is trending in sports on social media julius over to you good evening how are you doing hey good evening g2 modern uh, i'm all right thank you and how are you doing great um tell us what is happening well so much to talk about as far as social media gossip is concerned modern um quickly i'll get into the story that's been making um, headlines the past week uh the story of uh pats and daka um <laughs> <laughs> obviously give we're us, just give <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we're going to um, leave with speculations because we don't really know uh, if uh, what's happening is true or not. Um, Patson was dating this girl uh, by the name of Grace. Uh, they dated for over seven years, but uh, rumor has it that um, he's dumped Grace and apparently he's gone. Um, he's dating another girl, uh, Suwilanji Mpondamali. The girl is also an athlete. Actually, talking about Suwilanji, she was one of my guests. Uh, sometime back right here she was seated where uh, the two sisters are seated um, I know Grace as well personally yep. uh, she used to play for Red Arrows so interesting so all those that are there are in the sports industry <laughs> yeah she's actually a sprinter so yeah um, you, you can see from um, the picture that's been displayed on the screen um, actually they are best friends uh, more than so um, I, I don't know what, uh, what 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 really went wrong uh, in parts of dumping and grace and going for Subilanji. but anyway we're yet to confirm but rumor has it as well more than that um, actually uh, Subilanji is um, um, carrying something something for parts but yeah, we're yet to confirm we don't really know so that's what's happening in as far as um, that story for but Daka is a uh, concerned uh, modern. We quickly get into um, football modern. Um, Rachel uh, Shipolopolo, striker Rachel Kundanji, uh, doing very well in as far as representing the country is concerned. Remember that she plays for SD Elba um, in, in Spain. She 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 scored uh, two 
quick goal. She scored a brace for her team, uh, which is a very good thing because soon the Shipolopolo will be in action uh, playing those games to qualify to um, is, the is 2022 that, uh, Barcelona Morocco jersey. It looks like a Barcelona jersey. She just act, she just plays uh, plays in Spain. That's not the Barcelona jersey. <laughs> yeah, she plays for actually SD at Kiba in um, Iuba in um, in Spain. Yeah. So uh, congratulations, okay. kudos to Kundananji for representing us. Um, we quickly switch to uh, Emmanuel Banda, um, Chipolo Polo, uh, a modern um, midfielder who plays in Sweden. He also scored um, an opening goal for uh, their team and they actually uh, collected maximum points in that game. This is a very good move, especially for our coach, Al Josa, because he's looking for players that are actively uh, performing at their respective clubs. So I think this is a very good uh, move, especially that um, the draw is taking place tomorrow. Uh, Moden for the 2022 um, Ivory Coast Africa Cup of Nations. I look and hoping that Emmanuel Banda will continue um, banging in those goals so that he can he can be called to play for um, the national team. All right, so uh, we get to our last story. Um, Moden, um, our legend, Kalusha Walia, was one of the legends invited by uh, George Ware, uh, president for uh, Liberia, to go and participate in the Legends tournament to celebrate the opening of a sports facility in uh, Liberia. We're so proud of Kalusha Walia, our very own son. He's been doing uh, so much to, uh, to talk about in as far as representing the country is concerned and also flying the flag high, um, the, the Zambian flag high. He joined uh, other legends, uh, Emmanuel Edobayo, uh, um, JJ Okocha from Nigeria and oh, Aji Dio from Senegal. Remember that George Ware um, Moden is a celebrated um, former footballer of Liberia and he was a 1995 uh, player of the year. So um, this is what we had in as far as social media gossip is uh, concerned, Moden. Thank you very much, uh, Julius. And uh, you know, interesting seeing those legends, how time flies. That's how much they've grown. <laughs> yeah, they've grown. As you can see from George Ware now, he's got uh, good yeah, yeah, so yeah, time is really, is, is really flying. Wow, anyway, all of us will get old at some point. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Julius. Thank you, Morden. Okay, so, well, let me deal with the two sisters here. So now, I'll give you a challenge. I know you're used to horses, hockey, and, and swimming, but I'll give you a challenge. You have to juggle the bow. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you have to juggle the book. But talking about the hairstyle, you do confuse people. You have the same hairstyle. Um, is this a sports hairstyle or <laughs> who inspired who? I mean, it's just, I don't know, maybe maybe we just thought of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So time for ball juggling now. So oh, you no. can come with me. Uh, so for now. <laughs> I'm not so, very good with the ball. Well, it's meant for fun. So for now you can take off the oh, medals. Boy. So that we, we see the ball juggling skills. <laughs> okay, so... We see who is better between the two sisters. <laughs> okay, so who will go first? My sister. Okay. She can go. She's the youngest. No, you were born first, so uh -huh. you go first. <laughs> what do you Leaders. Want to do with it? Okay, so you don't have to drop the ball. So uh -huh. you start. You can use your your knee, your chest, or whatever, but don't drop the ball. So no, here you are. Wait, I'm probably so just gonna do one, and it's gonna fall. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. So no, hold it so that you, you position it yourself. You and the time starts now. You can, the, you can hold the time it. starts now. No, you may drop it so you can start now. No, it's fine. You can do it for me. Then I can just... Yeah. Okay. See, one, I'm, two. Oh yeah. See, that was bad. <laughs> two. See, well, it's see, a well, ten. If you do three, that would be amazing. <laughs> if you do three, then you'd be better than... Okay, here you are. One, two. Two. <laughs> it's the same. Okay. Let's see who is the strongest. You can come here. Okay, let's go. This one so, I can. This one I can do. Okay, so one will stand here. <laughs> okay. The other one here. So do I just stand like this? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 And what do we mean? Okay. To do? Okay, like this. Like this. Maybe we swap. Okay. Yes. 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 yes like that. Okay. Okay. So when I say one, two, three, go, you go. So you rest your elbows here. Oh, oh no! So yes. Arm wrestle. Yes. Oh, arm see. wrestling. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, okay. So, so when I say one, two, three, go, then we see who is the strongest. Okay, wait. Okay. I need to start. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. One, two, <laughs> three, go. <laughs> she's used. She's used the edge. She's used the edge. Okay, maybe that's an excuse. <laughs> okay, so congratulations to Tamenji. She's won. Um, I'm wrestling. Thank you very much for watching. Until next week at the same time. Thank My you name so is Modern Sinkara. Goodbye. <laughs>